just a very interesting point here. So, Yas, CK, and myself, we all graduated at MI and uh, from Los Angeles, the, the one, the camp in Los Angeles. So, this is a very, this is very special for us just to be here at MI Tokyo performing for you guys for a little bit, you know. So, we are very thankful to be here. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. So, what was your favorite class in MI? Oh, Jimi Hendrix rhythm guitar. Do you guys have that class here? Jimi Hendrix rhythm guitar っていうクラスがあったんですけど、こ、MI 東京でもありますか？ You guys have that class here? Oh man, that's a bummer because that kind of gave me the whole perspective of like doing the double stop, the double stop. その授業からダブルストップのテクニックとかいろいろ学んだんですね。And the class was pretty much like playing a chord progression but adding a lot of feels. あの基本的にはそのコード進行に合わせてまあフィロいろいろ入れるっていう授業だったんですけど、so just like a regular chord progression C G A minor C G A minor F っていうコード進行で。class was just explaining how Jimi Hendrix would play a chord progression like that. その授業ではそういうコード進行で Jimi Hendrix だったらどういう風に弾いただろうっていうのをいろいろあの掘り下げていくんです。It was something like What's your focus when you practice? Like, uh, what do you care? Okay. Now I'm getting very focused on my right hand because I, unfortunately, back in the days, I got the bad habit of just, you know, giving the focus on my left hand. So. あの昔は左手ばかり練習してたので最近は右手の練習をすごくしてるんです。So, uh, and I remember like just practicing a lot of scales and like just you know, たくさんのスケールをこうやって。So you know, my my thankfully my my left hand got strong, but my right hand was always a problem. You know, like I, I it was always hard for me to keep the pocket, like the rhythm and stuff. 左手はすごく早く弾けたんですけど、右手が例えばリズムであのグルービーに弾いたりするのが難しかったり、問題があったんですね。And now, I mean, as I don't know if you guys know,、uh, know about it, but I just finished a couple of shows with Bruno Mars, and that was like, wow, definitely like, it made me realize how much I need to improve my right hand technique. いやあのつい最近、この来日、えっと、この前、香港に出たんですけど、その前に、ね、あのラスベガスでブルーノ・マーズのバンドで演奏してたんですけど、その時にあにどれだけ自分の右手のテクニックがあの上がったかっていうのをすごい実感しました。And there were a lot of songs that we didn't play with tracks and stuff, so to me it was like, oh my gosh, I need to work on that.、Yeah. あのすごいたくさんトラックを使って演奏するので、あのちゃんとあのポケットに。So now I'm practicing a lot of Bruno Mars music, just listening, you know, and just like. Yeah, stuff like that. Now, the 最近は Bruno Mars の曲をとてもたくさん練習しています。It's very hard. It's very hard. It's very hard. You know. And yeah, so give a right focus on your right hand and timing, feel as well. Especially when you're playing with a band, that's what the matter is the most. And my right hand, my feel, that the time is very important. Especially when you're playing with a band, that's what the matter is the most. You know, CK, Yas, myself. We all came from a music school, but what may not saying that we we're not grateful for a music school. But the thing is, if you just rely on a music school, 
I don't believe that's enough. Because that's what probably, like, I remember a couple of my classmates leaving the school. As soon as they left the school, they were just like, yeah, man, you know what? MI didn't do much for me or something like that. And I kind of feel very sad for them because I'm reading this book that it says that nobody's gonna take care of your own music, of your own career than yourself. So if you, if you just rely on something like that, I believe you, you, you can't, like you don't have enough con conditions to go further, you know, because once you start relying on something, you're just like, you stay in a comfort zone. And I don't know exactly what Yas said, but there was a word that he mentioned, it was consistency. And to me, when I was back, like when I was studying at MI from 2013 to 2015, I remember having this picture, this image in my mind, that it was an hourglass. So that hourglass, you know, the, the half of that hourglass was full of sand. And then as soon as I started, it got turned. And then I was like, okay, cool, time is going. Time is flying in it. It's just like, I need this, I have this amount of sand to make my thing to happen, you know. And uh, I'm not from America, I'm from Brazil, so I moved all the way from Brazil to America with no English, not knowing anything. Are you gonna be able to tell my story or should I just keep going? Okay, cool. And so, and I just remember seeing that hourglass and the sand going and going, and I'm just like, okay, cool. I cannot stay in the comfort zone because I have so much to do. And I'm like, this is my biggest passion. This is what I wanted to do for my life, you know? And uh, I deposit everything, all my emotions, everything I, even like what I am in, in music. So to me, this is everything. So, Relying on something, that's probably like my advice for you guys. Don't rely on something. Just keep focused and try, you know, just, you know, uh, taking advantage of, of what Yas mentioned about consistency. It's just like, yeah, you know, this is not gonna come back. You know, this is, this is the, being in a music college, you know, like I'm, so it's already 2019, it's been four years since my graduation, and I'm like, oh my goodness. Sometimes I, I even question myself, well, I wish I could be back just to learn a little bit how to play, you know, rhythm parts better, and this and that. So to me, my biggest advice for you guys is just like, keep the focus and the direction on you. Like it's, it's it doesn't, if it doesn't start on you, things could be way harder, you know? So just like keep pushing it, you know? Because if the beginning is not on you, if it's not on like, oh my gosh, I really need, I need to make it happen, then probably the frustration is gonna happen someday in the future. So my biggest advice is that, you know, just try to keep pushing it, keep, you know, maybe go to concerts, Inspiration is very important for us as well because you know we are very artistic driven, you know, like we are super emotional. So we need that as well to keep inspired because being in a music school could be very vulnerable in terms of like uh I'm not inspired because you know music's hard or something like that. So inspiration is very important. So just keep the focus and understand that a music college is a platform to help you. But if, if that doesn't start here and here, and of course, on, the, on your hard work, the music college is not gonna be like that jump. The platform is just gonna be like, okay, cool, that's it, you know? So you have to freaking go. You need to make it happen, you know? Like, like the, the perspective of your career, it needs to be the first thought of your mind as soon as you wake up and the last thought before you go to bed, you know, so I believe that's my advice for you.